Hi, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. A lot of people are using iPads for their DJ work now. That includes DJing, actually using some DJ apps to perform and play music, or you can even do video now from the iPad. But one of the things that I've been using my iPad a lot for is to do some video recording. Now, it's not the quality of the camcorder that's shooting this video right now. This is a Canon unit, very nice unit. But they can still do a pretty nice job if you've got the right tools to go with it. One of those tools that a lot of you have seen me use at different DJ conventions is the iPad movie mount right here. This is designed for any of the iPads that have, of course, camera capability. It snaps in, snaps in the corners, and right now my iPad is ready to be mounted with a camera type tripod. We can put it to a camera tripod, and it gives me a lens. Now that the lens is a big thing, but it, it's kind of cool. We'll talk about that later. The thing that this really gives me is it gives me a hutch. Well, it's a cold shoe, but it's a shoe for a microphone. So if I want to use a boom mic and be able to get in closer to people, it works. And on top, and here's the most important one, I can put a light on top of this. So I can be on my tripod, I can have my boom mic, I can have a light on top, and my videos come out, especially at six feet out, you know, five to six feet away. Wow, world's world's better in low light situations. But I want to show you a couple of things. Well, let's talk about this, that lens. This is a 37 millimeter lens that, and it can be changed. So right now, I have a wide angle on this. This is a 0.45 right now. I also have a two times zoom lens that I purchased with this. They give me you know, a little bit of zoom capability, but I don't use that one too terribly much because most of the time, I'm either wanting to get closer with this one, or you slide that over and I'm getting the actual lens of the iPad. So the wide angle, what this allows me to do is, especially if I'm interviewing someone, we can both be in the scene, we can have the iPad nice and close to us, and our faces aren't distorted and really looking kind of goofy. So I like the wide angle lens. But I want to put this up and I want to show you the application. There's an app for it. It's a free app, but it's the app that they kind of recommend to use with it, and it is pretty cool. So let's get it on a tripod and take a look at it. Before we put it on a tripod, here's one of my beefs with this particular device, is if you take a look at the bottom of this, you see that there is the screw-in hole, the threaded part, and then on the side is the hole in which your little shoe for the tripod. You've got, of course, the screw-in part, and then you've got the little pin. Well, if you put the pin in where it's supposed to be, this is setting sideways. If I put that into the tripod, this is setting sideways. I don't understand why they did that. Every tripod I have, it doesn't work. So I literally took a little bit of a drill bit, put a little hole in there, so I can put this on properly, get it lined up. I can put it on and use my tripod like it's supposed to be used. So much better that way. So this is Movie Mount. This is a free app from the App Store. You don't have to use Movie Mount. I just found this with, they recommended it, and I really, really liked it because there's some functionality in here that I didn't have in the regular camera app. Maybe it's all over and I just didn't find it, whatever. But this is what they recommend, and this is what I've been using and I've been very happy with. So you can do photo or you can do video. We're gonna click on the video because that's kind of what we wanna do with this. We wanna be able to do that video from the iPad. So you can see we are on, videos on. One of the things I like about this, I can go up here and I can hit the AF, which is autofocus. I can literally lock my focus on this one. If you've ever shot a video with iPad in a low, resolu or low light area, the resolution looks a little grainy. We'll give you that. And that's just gonna happen unless you had that light up on top that I talked about earlier. But with the autofocus, it isn't trying to refocus itself. It basically is set. So you need to kind of get it so it's close, hit the auto and lock it in. Negative thing with that is each time you're gonna shoot a video, you have to reset that. So you shoot your video, it saves it, it comes back to that first screen that we saw, and then come here, and then you gotta hit the autofocus lock. But for the capability to lock the focus and not have it going in and out, I'll live with it. Second thing is, unless we're recording, which we will just do right now, now that we're recording, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little, a little indicator bouncing over here saying that it's getting volume and getting sound. That's great. I'd love to see that earlier because when I have an external microphone hooked up to this, I've got a boom mic hooked up, 
I can't see if the thing is recording sound or not until we start recording. Granted, you turn it on, you record a little bit, but watch, when I'm done recording, it's not like I can go and immediately start recording again because it's going to save it. Depending upon the length of the video, it can take a few seconds to save it. And then I've got to go back, click the video side of it. Yeah, we wait a few seconds. And then I need to go click my autofocus and lock that back in. And we're back. We're there. Now let's take a look at the lens. We talked about this is the wide angle lens. So if I put my hand, let's see, I want to put my hand right there. So my fingertips, as you're looking at the screen on the iPad, looks like my fingertips are pretty much right to the edge of the screen right now. That's right about there. So I'm going to just push this down and out of the way. Now you can get an idea of the angle width. Uh, before we could see with the tips of my fingers, now we're back to my hand. Let's switch it back up. And there you go. You get an idea of the width. For close interviews, or if you're going to be talking to someone at a wedding with a little bit of a light on top, and if you were going to do some, some interviews at tables, what a fabulous thing, because you can get in there nice and close, and if you had a boom mic, that would, you know, some kind of a road boom mic or something, you could really get a great video with this. But having that video, having that lens, so you can get a little closer, really helps. So, Movie Mount is the device. It comes with, well, you can get it without lenses, you can get it with one lens, with two lenses, whatever you want to do. Um, it's a neat thing. If you're using the iPad and want to get a little more capability, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go and uh, find out more about this device. This is John Young with the Disjockey News.